No doubt, Nigeria is blessed with many great men of God doing great and mighty exploits. So in this video, we'll be digging deep into how 10 biggest pastors received the divine call into ministry from God and where they are now. Let's enter the matter right away. Making it to the number 10 is Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Well, as a young man, Pastor Chris Oyakilome studied at Edo College and received a scholarship to go study architecture at Bender State University. While studying, he felt an unusual urge to spread the word of God, so he founded a student fellowship organization called Youth for Christ, where he was the leader and offered teachings, a group that became one of the largest and most popular organizations on the campus. Pastor Chris ministry started as a prayer group which gathered momentum and in 1987, Pastor Chris formed a church called Christ Embassy. The Love World Incorporated is a Christian ministry based in Lagos, Nigeria and has thousands of branches in five continents across the world. There are over 30 million people who are members of the ministry. Pastor Chris began his ministry by leading prayers for a few and now he leads prayers for millions of believers. Hallelujah. Number 9. Pastor Ayo Orichejafo. In 1972, Orichejafo became born again in an evangelical crusade held in Saple, Nigeria. He later enrolled at the All Nations of Christ Bible Institute, Benin City, Nigeria. In quest for further knowledge of God, Orichejafo further enrolled with the Nigerian Baptist Seminary, Ogomosho, in Oyo State, Nigeria, and later proceeded in 1979 to the United States for further studies at Morisorillo School of Ministry, San Diego, California. Richard Jaffa revealed that he had a vision of himself wearing a suit and preaching to thousands of people and he heard a voice that said to him, this is what you are going to be doing the rest of your life. And the voice said, take my word to the world. This is the inaugural vision that led to the founding of the World of Life Bible Church in November 1987. At number 8, we shall actually the call into the ministry of one of the Nigerian's finest pastors, Pastor Paul Adifarasi. Although born into an affluent home, Pastor Paul was unfortunately a drug addict until his repentance and conversion in 1994. After his conversion, he undertook a diploma in Christian ministry from the International Bible Institute of London. Pastor Paul initially served in a volunteer capacity as a youth pastor in the United States and thereafter received his first pastorate at the Action Chapel London. Pastor Adifarasi started the House of the Rocks Church in 1994 in his mother's living room in Lagos with a few attendees. Proof of his calling is that the living room church has blossomed into a ministry that has over 50 daughter churches in Africa and in Europe. He's a well-known mentee of Bishop T.D. Jakes. Pastor Paul has been fervent in his message of hope to the world and especially the African continent where he resides. Number 7. Pastor D.K. Olukoya Let's talk about the fireman who rains fire on demons and principalities, the founder of Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministry, Dr. Daniel Olukoya. It will interest you to know he received the call to start his ministry after God gave him vision to when he was living in a one-bedroom rented apartment of a house located on Abet Macaulay Way, Yaba in 1977. The Holy Spirit called him same way Samuel was called in the Bible and he began to receive covenant that established MFM and further instructions from him. Although Pastor Lukoya got the message and the covenant from God in 1977, MFM was not founded until 12 years later. It's such a great space of time to prepare a man, no wonder MFM has grown so much, having many branches across the country and worldwide. At number 6 is Pastor Sam Adeyemi. He started as a pastor at the Rema Chapel alongside his younger brother Victor Adeyemi. While at the Rema Chapel, Sam served as the director of pastoral care and minister in charge before he was transferred to a branch in Lagos. On his location to Lagos, Pastor Sam Adeyemi felt his ministry was stagnated. So in April 1994, he decided to go on a prayer and fasting program with his wife. His prayers were answered in July 1994. After he got a clear-cut instruction from God, ushering him into the ministry God had wanted for him. God told him it was time to move to the next level of ministry, where he would be a teacher of biblical success principles. He will reach his audience via radio, television, tapes, publications, and seminars. Also, he would establish a church that would help people discover and release their potentials. Sam Adeyemi got a vision for Success Power International and Daystar Christian Center on the same day. He first started teaching on the radio shortly after, on the 18th of November 1994. He established the Daystar Christian Center. At number 5, we have Pastor Ibiome. Follow me as we unveil how Pastor Ibiome started. But if you are enjoying the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and like. In 1995, Ibiome enrolled into full time Bible school in the world of 
Catholic Bible Institution, an arm of David Oyedepo's ministry. It is often said that one shouldn't despise little beginnings. So Pastor Ebiome, after completing his Bible school training at Bishop David Oyedepo's Word of Faith Bible Institution, started a house fellowship with his family in Victoria Island, Lagos, and he later moved to Portacos River State, where he started Salvation Ministry on April 13, 1977, with a little over 20 members in attendance. Today, Salvation Ministries average about 50,000 attendees every Sunday at his headquarters. Number four is Pastor Paul Eneche. So, how did this pastor, known for his amazing legwork, receive his divine call? Three days to the end of the month of May 1996, Paul Eneche, who was then a young medical doctor, found himself stuck at a point where he had to make a decision that would determine the course of his life. He was caught in between the decision of traveling to London with his wife to further their medical studies or staying back in Nigeria. However, in his communication with God, he had been directed to put his medical certificate out of the way and go to the city of Abuja, Nigeria to start a gospel outreach whose mission would be to heal, save, deliver, and restore human destiny and dignity in God's name. On getting home, his young wife, who was nursing their few months old first baby, had also sought the face of God alongside her husband with a 6 to 6 fasting and prayer for same purpose. The Spirit of God told her exactly what he told Paul, confirming this call. Six months after the call, precisely November 1996, Dr. Paul Eneche and his wife, Dr. Mrs. Becky Eneche, relocated to Abuja to establish his ministry. This ministry has since been characterized with miracles, signs, and wonders. Number three, we have Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, who is one of the patriarchs of Christian faith in Nigeria. Nigeria. Pastor Kumiyu became a born-again Christian on Sunday, April 5, 1964, at the age of 23, setting a background for his divine call and assignment. As a young man, he often read John Weasley, Charles Finney, Spurgeon, and lots of other books. He also got involved with the Scripture Union. In 1973, while being a lecturer of mathematics at the University of Lagos, Kumiyu began a Bible study group with 15 students who had come to him for Bible training. This training became the foundation of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry. The ministry we started as a 15-member Bible study group in Pastor William Kumui's official quarters at the University of Lagos in August 1973 is now in more than 60 countries. And number two is Bishop Oyedebo. Bishop Oyedebo became born again in 1969 through the influence of his teacher, Betty Lacher, who took an interest in him during his high school days. According to him, he received a mandate from God through an 18-hour vision in May 1981 to liberate the world from all oppression of the devil through the preaching of the word of faith. This is the inauguration vision that led to the founding of Living Faith Church Worldwide, first called Liberation Faith Award Ministry in 1981. Two years later, on September 17, 1983, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, ordained David and his wife, Florence Abiola Oyedepo, to become pastors and officially commissioned the new church. Five years later, Oyedepo was ordained as bishop by his life mentor, the late Archbishop Benson Idaosa. Living Faith Church, also known as Winners Chapel International, started in Kaduna but moved to Lagos in July 1989 to start a new branch of the church after Oyedepo claimed to have received instruction from God to reach out to the people of Lagos. At number one, we bring you our beloved Daddy G.O., whose real name is Pastor Enek Adejere Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Pastor Adeboye's story began when he joined the Redeemed Christian Church of God and gave his life to Christ on 29th July 1973. He then served as an interpreter to the founder who doesn't understand English before he was ordained a pastor in the church in 1975. Now, shortly after the demise of the founder, he became general overseer of the church in 1981. For three years, he filled the part-time role at uni in Lauren before giving up his university position to preach full-time. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly click the subscribe button and like and click on the end screen on your left to watch the pastors with the best dance steps.